Hey, it's Tim here. In 22.3, Tableau continues to improve virtual connections. I've actually got all the updates from this version up on screen already because the first two are kind of small updates. So I'm just going to run over them. Um, the first one is downstream feature compatibility. Essentially, when you use the virtual connection, it wasn't actually possible to create the related assets that typically uh, get created downstream from a connection. So downstream is a terminology that Tableau uses when they talk about data management. Anything that gets connected to a data source is essentially downstream to the data source. The other thing is extract encryption. This is specifically for Tableau Server. Of course, Tableau Cloud doesn't really have this option because that architecture works differently. And the very final one here is cloud-based file connectors for virtual connections. In essence, you can connect to Google Drive, Box, Dropbox whilst using virtual connections. In this video, I'm gonna show you how. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so virtual connections are a really powerful feature. I, I, I talked previously at the London Tableau user group and I actually said this was probably the most underappreciated feature because it's hidden behind a paywall. Not many people have the data management add-on and therefore don't realize the value that this feature presents. So if you can have a go at this feature and just try and understand how it can help your workflow, I highly encourage it. Um, you can try it through the developer uh, access that you get as part of the data dev community. If you just want to do that with one or two accounts, that is a great way to try this feature now. Okay, so I'm here inside of Tableau Cloud. This is the uh, beta instance of Tableau Cloud. I'll go ahead and create a new virtual connection. As soon as we do that, we get the pop-up for this particular interface. Now, uh, one thing I didn't realize you could do before and I just discovered uh, was this little grid view actually. Maybe this is new, but you can sort this as a grid. This just makes it easy to get everything on one screen. And uh, I'm gonna try and call out the specific connectors here. We've got Dropbox, uh, Box, Google Drive, and I think there's another one called Azure. Let me look at my notes. Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. That's a very long name. I don't even see it on this list. Um, so maybe it's coming later, uh, but those are the new cloud connectors that are now supported by virtual connections. Now, the really powerful thing is virtual connections also have capabilities such as data policies, and you can connect to multiple cloud storage solutions alongside your own connections to create a virtual connection. So uh, something that people maybe uh, didn't realize and I didn't emphasize in my previous video is that you can connect to multiple types of connectors when you're building your virtual connections and give people access to all of those things in one uh, place. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do two connections. I'm, use, I'm gonna use Google Drive and Dropbox. Those are the two things I use almost every day. And what I've done is I've just dropped Superstore into those folders so we can connect to them. But with Google Drive, you can actually also connect to Google Sheets. So I'm actually gonna show you a file that we can connect to. I'm gonna to connect to my company Google account. This is essentially the home of Tableau Tim. I'm gonna go ahead uh, and go, click continue. And when we do that, we see everything that's available inside of my Google Drive folder. And you've got some high level uh, sort of areas. Now, if I scroll down, uh, you should see uh, let's see what we can find here. There you go. You can see we have two Excel files here, sample EU store XLS, uh, sample uh, Superstore XLS, and then we've also got um, a G sheet. Now these G sheets can be connected to two. Well, there's a little bit of a quirk with this, but anyway, we'll, we'll go ahead and connect to this. Let's first start with Superstore. We're very familiar with that. Let's go ahead and bring that connection in. And as soon as we go ahead and connect to that, um, you'll see it just comes up on the left-hand side and I can see all the tables I'm used to. I can go ahead, uh, bring them in, and uh, you can connect to those and people can start using them almost straight away. Now, the reason we may be seeing duplications of tables here is because of uh, named ranges. And I think that's most likely the cause here. Uh, but you know what? Let's go ahead and put them all in. You can see Tableau renames the duplicates as well. We'll go ahead and get more from that same Google Drive connection. So let's go back in. I'll uh, log in again and uh, we'll go ahead and get our account. Now, the thing is you have to authenticate each time you add something to the connection. I think it creates essentially a key for that particular connection. So we've added Superstore. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a Google Sheets uh, this time, go ahead and select connect. And when we add the Google Sheets, uh, you'll see that it comes in as an Excel file almost. I'll go ahead and drag that in. And one of the nice things with um, virtual connections is as you're creating the connection, you can obviously preview those files. So if I just move this up, I click on this little table icon here on the bottom left. It's similar to the icon you see in Tableau Prep. Um, it gives us a little bit of a preview. In fact, if I actually connect to this, you can see that it works um, fairly well. Uh, I think I actually clicked on the wrong thing here. So we've got the, um, here we go, we've got Google, Anal uh, Google Analytics. Um, I got a bunch of information. Oh, I connected to the wrong table in this particular case. Uh, what this data is essentially showing me, these are tables that 
I was using in a service called Fivetran and I created a Google Sheet of all the tables and how I'm using them in Fivetran so that I can remember should I forget. It's not actually what I was looking to connect to. So let's go back in and try and find the right file again. Let's go ahead and grab this connection again. We're going to connect this a few times. Go ahead. Um, and I'm sort of just trying to emphasize the point here that essentially um, you can do this as many times until you've got everything you need in your virtual connection. Now here, what this data source is, um, is essentially a, a table of information every time Google, sorry, it's a table of information which shows every time Tableau Cloud has an issue across all instances around the world. So what I'm doing is I'm collecting this data to see how, how often does Tableau Cloud have issues and what kind of issues are they for a video that I'll do at some point in the future. Anyway, you'll see here that this table is already in the virtual connection. Adding a duplicate table enables you to, for example, use the duplicate in another data policy. So that's actually quite a uh, good hint. Um, you can add a duplicate table and use 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 the table in a different data policy. Although it's a bit of a confusing one because I think you then have to name the table to say, use this table in this policy and use that table in that policy. It's probably not clear, but I'll go ahead and put it in anyway. And so now we have a lot of um, uh, tables and uh, things added to our um, virtual connections. Uh, and this these will say live, which is super interesting. I don't know if it's actually connecting to all of these files in all these different locations live. Um, I'll go ahead and select Dropbox this time. I'm already logged in on Dropbox, so it just skipped right in. You can see here at the top, I'm logged in with my personal email. And the thing I want to look for here is another Superstore file. I must have someone in here. Yep, I just uploaded that today. We'll grab the EU file, hit connect. And you can see we're getting a pretty busy list of information. We'll go ahead and include everything uh, just so we can push this to its limits. Um, I don't think there's an actual, there probably is a limit of how many tables you can add. Uh, let's add one more, see if anything comes up. No, it's not a logical number like 10. But as you can see, you can add all of these in. And now I'm connected to Google Drive, Dropbox. Uh, I'm actually connected to Google Drive three times. And you could do this with other connections as well. The great thing here is that, of course, all of these are available to you when you start to build a data policy. So you can go ahead and drag them in if you want to. Actually, what I need to do is create a policy, then drag what I need in. And again, as I start to build these things out, I can actually start previewing them as well. So that is the feature in a nutshell, a very small change, but actually quite useful for companies that are using cloud data storage for their main workflow. I think a lot of companies are actually in that sort of setup at the moment. Even corporate companies that have been sort of slow to uh, catch up have finally cottoned on that many of these cloud services now offer enterprise level uh, security so they can use them securely with their employees. And now Tableau can connect to them. That's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any feedback, leave them in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.